guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Just Read Rendezvous book haul. I was able to go to the Just Read Rendezvous book event that was in St. Louis um, from November... It was 16th and 17th if you paid for the watch party for the Christie's and I did and my mama and I went we drove down to St. Louis on Wednesday and hung out with some friends on Wednesday and Thursday did the Christie watch party on Thursday night and then Friday all day was spent at this amazing book event with a bunch of authors and readers and it was so much fun there was a mix of indie authors and there was a mix of traditionally published author authors Jocelyn Green and Pepper Basham were the keynote speakers and then there were panels and there were games and there were giveaways and there were swag bags and there was a bookstore all in all it was a wonderful time I got to see friends that I haven't seen in a while and meet new friends and I absolutely am just so incredibly thankful and just very very blessed to be able to go to book retreats and just meet the people that I'm able to meet and do the things that I'm able to do so I am just my heart is overfilling overflowing that's the word I'm looking for um, book events always just fill my soul and I love being around people who love the same thing that I do so it's a lot of fun um, I'm really excited for next year it is going to be in Chicago 99% sure. I know the Christie's will be in Chicago and I'm pretty sure that they're going to be trying to do the rendezvous around the same time as the Christie's. So keep your eyeballs peeled. Um, I'm sure they'll post about it closer to next November, you know. But I thought I would do a quick little haul showing you the books that I got. I did take a couple books with me to get signed. I took the bulk of the Hawthorne House series with me to get signed by Christy Ann Hunter, who did in fact win a Christy while we were there. That was so exciting. She was there, had to like run out and accept the speech on, um, on the screen since the Christies were virtual this year. It was just a wonderful time. But I did get the Christy, uh, or the Hawthorne House series signed. And then I took a couple books by Pepper Basham um, to get signed and then I bought a few more from varying authors because there were quite a few authors there and it was just a lot, a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. I'm going to do the books that I got um, in giveaways and in my swag bag and then the books that I purchased and got signed. Alright, so first up is Thursday night they did do the watch party for the Christie's and normally at the Christie's there is a table of all of the books by the finalist. Um, this year the ECPA was very, very gracious and they donated a bunch of books. I think it might have just been nominations and finalists because there was a mixture of books on the table. Um, but they did do the same thing. So there were books at the tables that were offered for the readers who were in attendance to take. So I did end up coming home with two. I did take Dream of Kings by Sharon Hink, which did win a Christie in the speculative genre. I'm super excited. I have Sharon Hink's other series with Enclave. Super exciting. Um, I loved her writing. She's super, super talented. And then I got a Divine Romance by... I am going to butcher this. Um, Ifueko Agbomo, I believe is how you pronounce it. Jenna, correct me if I'm incredibly wrong. Um, my friend Jenna Van Marwick, she actually endorsed this. Let's see if I can show you. She endorsed it right there on the back. She loved this book, so super excited. Um, when I saw that on the table, I was like, I'll grab it. Why not? So I did get those. And then... I won a giveaway. My name was Kelb, and I was able to pick from a table. So I picked this NIV Journal Through the Word Bible, and it said, My soul finds rest in God. It's this beautiful cloth bound Bible, and it's nice because it does lay flat. And if you didn't know, I'm left handed, so I struggle sometimes with notebooks and things that don't lay flat. 
um, with writing on the left side margin but I will be able to do that so I'm excited to look through this um, and see if it's one that I want to try and use or if I'm gonna gift it around Christmas but I did get that it's so beautiful and then in my swag bag I got a couple things so yeah okay so most everybody got a couple of the same books first was guilty by association by Pat Simmons she was so sweet and she donated a book so every bag got this book she's a hoot she was there I'm excited to read her books um, she was a blast to meet such a sweet lady um, next Lisa and James was there and she also donated this book so every bag had it and that is a path to forgiveness and this is a prodigal woman no novel so I got to sit and chat with her for a while very sweet lady and then Erica Vetch donated books um, most of the bags got it not all of them I think we ran out um, but this is a bride's portrait of Dodge City Kansas and I did get this signed since she was there so that's part of it and then I also got tracking stolen treasures by Lisa Phillips Lisa Phillips was one of the authors there so I did get the sign I got Dawn's untrodden green by Carolyn Miller which is book three in the Regency wallflower series I was very excited to find this in my bag because I do have book one over here I need to get book two at some point but love adding to my collection then in my bag I got the artful match by Jennifer Delmere and this is book three in the London Beginning series. I have seen this book around for years, this whole series. And there, the amount of times I've picked it up, and I'm like, ooh, maybe I should start this. Maybe I should get it. It's ridiculous. I never have. But now that I have book three, I'll have to get book one and two next time I see them cheap. And then the last book that I had in my bag was The Neighbor Renovation by Grace Worthington. This is a sweet rom-com. Um... And I'm very excited to give this author a try. I've seen her pop up on my Instagram a few times, so I am pumped. And then there were a couple authors who were so gracious, so sweet, and gave me a couple books. Um, so first I have The Cowgirl's Last Rodeo by Tabitha Bolden. I love Inspired. Um, I got to hang out with Tabitha a little bit. So sweet. I'm t Every author I met was an absolute doll. Again, I'm so incredibly thankful and grateful that I get to go. Next, I got Of Hearts and Home. It's a novella by Anne Elizabeth Fryer. And then Kim Woodhouse, who is one of my absolute dearest, dearest friends. I love her so much. I have been blessed to see her at most book events. She's there quite a bit of the time. Um, but I love her so much. But she was so sweet. Um, and she gifted me 26 Below. Signed it. So I'm super excited to have this in my collection as well. Um, I know that 8 Down, I think that's the next one, um, comes out at some point. So that will be book two. But I'm very, very excited and I'm so very thankful. So if somehow you find this, Kim, because I know every once in a while you watch my videos, thank you, sweet friend. Next, we're going to talk about the books that I bought because I did do a little bit of damage and I bought some books. So first I got Man of Shadow and Mist by Michelle Grieb. This is book two in whatever series this is book one is lost in darkness um we read it for our book club a while ago and i really enjoyed it so this is like a take a slight take on dracula so i was very excited to give this a shot so i picked that up because she was there as well and for some reason my brain didn't process that she was going to be there so i didn't take any of my other books to get signed by her. I've had the honor of meeting her twice, two or three times, and neither time have I brought my books with me. I should have brought Lost in Darkness to get that signed, but I digress. It's fine. Then I picked up book two and three in the Thorndike and Swan Regency Mystery Series by Erica Vetch, which is Millstone of Doubt and Children of the Shadows. Because again, Erica was there, and I do have book one, The Debutante's Code. Very excited for these. Next, I got Pixels in Paint by Christiane Hunter. I'm so excited to finally have this in paperback. Ah! I'm super, super pumped. Um, this is Christie's 
step out into the contemporary rom-com genre and I'm very very excited about it. I finally got my hands on The Mistletoe Countess by Pepper Basham. This book was the all the hype last Christmas and I'm super excited to start with this because I do have the Cairo curse and then I know that Juliet's Code is coming out soon so excited for this. Add that to my Christmas TBR. And then I got, I bought book two because my mom won book one and she was so sweet and gave it to me because my mom did go with me. Um, and that is A Convenient Sacrifice and A Favorable Match by Elizabeth and Elizabeth Fryer. And these are book one and two in the Butterton Bride series. So I'm all about some more, some more historical romance. Especially some cute little small ones. I love that. And then the last book in this haul, the last book that I purchased was Defending David by Barbara M. Britton. I was incredibly excited to meet her. She had a couple of her books there, um, but Jenna talks very highly of Barbara. And she had another book there as well, and I couldn't decide between the two. But I remember Jenna talking great things about Defending David. Um, so I thought that I would just go ahead and pick this one up, and if I loved it, once I actually read it, because I have to be in the mood for biblical fiction, um, but once I read it, I can look into her other books, because she does have quite a few. So, those were all the books, and then of course, my adorable rendezvous bag with all kinds of swag, and my Christie Award, um, little packet. So many great things. It was a wonderful time. Again, incredibly thankful and blessed to have been able to go see friends and hang out with my mom. We always have a wonderful time together and I'm so looking forward to one, the next event that I go to, but to the next rendezvous. That's that. That's my book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget you can check out my blog at fiction.blogspot.com. You can check out my Instagram at fiction and all my other links in the description box below. Bye. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!